I think Nier is an inferior version of L, and the second half of Death Note pales in comparison to the first. I finally realized why I feel this way, and I have evidence to back it up. Uh, yeah. Let's start with Nier. In the past, I've talked about Nier lacking the same charm and charisma as L, but the true core of his problem is that he doesn't have iconic scenes that make his character interesting. Let me give you some scenes. Scene A, L's first physical appearance. L meets the task force, he introduces himself and they do the same, showing their identification. While Soichiro is talking, L points a finger at him and says bang, then he explains that if he were Kira, all of them would be dead right now because they gave away their identities. The scene shows that L is quirky, but also intelligent. He teaches the task force an important lesson in an interesting way. Scene B, L shows up at Light's new school with the same name of a pop star, Ryuzaki, gives the speech with him, info dumps his knowledge about Light, and then tells him that he's L. This is to see how Light would react to meeting L, because if Light were Kira, he'd want to kill him. The stunt also prevents Light from killing Ryuzaki, because if he dies anytime soon, Light will be under suspicion since L gave him his name and face, and since Kira doesn't want to get caught, he won't kill him. This shows that L is willing to take massive risks, likes messing with people, is intelligent, and is quirky. Scene C. L and Light go to a coffee shop, and the former tests the latter in his deductive reasoning skills. L gives Light three photos that Kira wrote and asks him to order them. The print numbers are different from what Kira actually intended. Light chooses Kira's intended message, which leads to the twist that L had a fourth image, but Light didn't actually write this message. This makes Light look more suspicious, and the scene shows that L is smart, creative, and sly. Scene D. L meets Misa Amane for the first time, and Light finds a subtle way to let her know that this is L. During the meetup, someone grabs her butt, and it's L, who tries to play it off. When Misa leaves, Light stays back to call Misa to kill L, but the ringing is nearby. Misa's phone is in L's pocket and he picks up the call. L had predicted Light's plan and stole Misa's phone. That's why he touched her butt. Light decides to call her backup phone, but she's already been arrested as a suspect for the second Kira. The scene shows that L is smart, funny, and likes to troll. I could go on, but these are my main ones. Nier's obviously as smart as L, but how many of his scenes show off his personality in an interesting and memorable way? His fascination with toys and puzzles mirrors L's fascination with sweets, but that's too little. Does Nier ever explain his logic in a creative way? Does he ever show up to Light School? Does he play tennis with Light? He doesn't. All of these scenes increase L's memorability and charisma. Nier lacks scenes like these. He's just a smart guy who plays with puzzles. The second issue with Nier is his proximity. L was physically near Light, so he was allowed to have constant battles of wits. Nier is in the US for most of his tenure, while Light is in Japan. The two barely interact. The distance decreases the amount of chances he has for scenes like L's. Overall, Nier is far from L's charm and creativity. He just solves problems like a robot. The most creative thing he did was swapping out the death notes at the end, but I'll get to that later. Death Note's form of spectacle was genius plays to gain ground made by the different parties. The Battle of Wits. Part 2 simply had worse plays than Part 1. Here are some of my favorites from Part 1. L making Light kill a decoy to minimize his possible location. Light tricking Ray Pemper into giving away his identity. Light pretending to do homework while killing off suspects while he's being spied on. Light manipulating Naomi Misura to kill her. Light's mechanics for seeing if someone entered his room and burning his book. The task force first battle with Misa Amane. Light erasing his memories to avoid suspicion and eventually regaining them after touching the death note. What does part 2 have that compares to this? There's only one scene I can think of and it's from episode 32. While Light is in a recorded room with Kiyomi, Kira's spokesperson, Mikami calls Kiyomi. Light tells her to answer, and Mikami asks to speak to the other person. Light gives Mikami a clue that only he would understand, which lets him know that he's Kira. They have a whole coded conversation, where Light tells him that he's being watched, and asks him to prove that he's Kira, so Mikami kills someone on TV for him. The proof allows Light to remove the bugs from the room, which allows him to tell Kiyomi that he's Kira. That is the only scene in part 2 that has the same level of creativity, intelligence, and spectacle. Finally, the final confrontation. The way the story is resolved is a perfect example of the drop in intelligence. Mikami has a real notebook, but he also has a fake notebook. He writes in the fake while sending real pages to Kiyomi to actually kill people. This is because Light expected Nier to try and swap the real with their own fake. Eventually, Nier does exactly that, so he swaps a fake for a fake. But then Mikami slips up by trying to kill an already dead Kiyomi with the real notebook, which allows Nier to swap the real with the fake. So in summary, the final confrontation is Light saying, I knew you'd try to swap my notebook with a fake notebook, so I created a decoy notebook, which is what you're using. And then Nier saying, I knew you'd know I'd do that, so I also found an opportunity to swap the actual real notebook with a fake, which means that Mikami has a fake and I have the real one. Dog. You know that joke about how Jojo fights sometimes are like, I predicted your prediction? That's this, except it isn't ironic or satirical. The story legitimately ends with characters predicting predictions about swapping the real notebook. You know what's worse? 
Nier's final swap isn't properly set up. We know that Mikuni goes somewhere to send names to Kiyomi after getting a call from her. There's no indication that he went to his notebook, or even that any of Nier's people were following him to imply that they could swap the rail with the fake. It's just dropped on us in the final confrontation. I checked the manga too just to make sure. Chapter 99 and 100. This is an embarrassing decline from such elite writing. This isn't smart or creative. I'm sure someone will say, read the manga, but I watched a video defending part 2, and that person said that all the scenes remain, it's just that the amount of brainstorming and explanations are cut down. That doesn't affect anything I've said here. In conclusion, part 2 fell off because Nier, the primary antagonist, didn't have scenes that raised the quality of his character, Nier and Light were too far away to have battles of wits, and the overall intelligence and creativity in the battles of wits declined. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe and help me revolutionize the manga industry by buying my manga and spreading the word. All important links will be in the description.